What's going on guys, Cliffy here. Cold Cutter have got off to a good start here. One for 60 off their first six overs. So we're going to look to go. I thought we picked up a caught and bowled first ball there. But uh, we're looking to go and try and pick up some wickets. Stem the flow of runs because as I said, they have got off to a very good start. That will do, baby. That will do. Jacques Callas gone off stump out of the ground second ball. And that is what we need to do. As I said, we need to go and pick up wickets and really go and stem the flow of runs. Because if Sid's calculations are correct from the last episode, which I believe they would be, basically I think... What happened there? I don't even know what happened. That was weird. Um, but basically, yeah, if his calculations are correct, which I assume they are, because most of the time when it comes to stuff like that, he is very um, thorough with his calculations. Basically, in the last, today we're in round 15, we've got a buy next round, and then we've got round 17 and 18. So basically, I didn't think that was going to be any good. I thought I'd drag that big time, but it's gone on to hit middle stump. Basically, if his calculations are correct, in the last three games that we have, taking into account that we don't get any points for a buy, which I don't think we do, um, basically we just need to win one out of the last three games, and that is going to guarantee us first place. We are currently four points ahead at the moment with this game in hand, so if we win this game, going to be six points ahead. Our net run rate is going to be superior as well. And we did what we wanted to do in that over. We went and picked up the wickets, Brought the runs down. I think it was a double wicket maiden as well. Um, so, yeah, we've gone and we've done our job. We've stemmed the flow of runs. We've broken the partnerships. Catch that. Oh. Don't know who that was. But we've gone and done that. So that's the first run that's been gone and hit off us. But it's good. We've brought the run rate down. The run rate was at 10. It's now down below just above 8. Would still be nice to go and get Bizzler. He's down the other end. He's still playing. Oh, give that out, LBW umpire. Come on, umpire, please. you got to give that. You've got to give that, umpire. It worked well. A review worked for me well. Was it last recording? I think. No, it was when I talked about it in my last recording. I was actually playing a one-day game in my batting career. I don't think this is out, though. No. Nah. It's just missing. Um, but yeah, I was playing a game in my, um, in my batting career, one day game, and I think I reviewed an LBW, which actually went on to go, and it did go over the stumps, which was good. And um, because of that, I actually went on, and I think I scored about another 100 runs, so it was not a bad review at all. That one there, not too bad, but swinging away um, at the end. But we're looking for wickets, and that's good. That's what we want to do. I thought we may have had one there, but Pandy actually went and... Uh, Got the bat down. Is this Manish Pandey who debuted in the Zimbabwe series for India? I'm not sure. They had so many new players, I can't tell. And that's a big outside edge. I think it is. I think he plays for Kolkata. But then again, I think he's a left... Is he left-handed? The guy I'm thinking of? No, I think I'm thinking of Tawari. I don't know what's happened there. I think that's gone straight through the legs. Straight through the legs. Another good over this one. Just the one run off it so far. Make that another one. We're just looking at it going. I was just looking to try and do something a little bit different there. Not go for the outswing. But still a good over. Two for two off two. Richie Beno would be proud. I would I would do his impersonation, but I don't want to go and let him down. So Wayne Parnell hasn't bowled yet. And here's our five-star bowler. So we're going to bring him in, and hopefully he can go and pick up some wickets as well. Break the partnership, which I think he did um, potentially go and do. Yeah, four down now. So four down for 69 after being one for 60 off six overs. In the next four, three wickets and just the nine runs. So it has been a great comeback by Pune so far, and hopefully we can go and continue on that fight back. And as I said, win this game basically guarantees us first place. Basically guarantees us first place. There is actually something else I can talk about IPL. Obviously, um, while I was away, I believe it happened. But uh, Chennai and Rajasthan, both out of the next two seasons of the IPL. Due to match fixing ooh, in earlier tournaments, I believe. That one there has just gone and scraped the outside edge. What does this mean for the IPL? What's going to happen? Are they going to run it with six teams? A lot of people saying they are going to run it with six teams um, and just play... Play each team four times, which I think is going to get a little bit repetitive. Is it going to make the season shorter? When you th when you think about it, you're playing each team, so you're playing five, you're playing... Does that mean you're playing 20 games? Personally, for me, that is a too long of a season, playing 20 games, especially when it's only a six-team league, you're playing against the same guys, you know, once every five weeks 
or once every five games, I should say. Um, yeah, personally, I don't think it will work. Saying that, though, apparently, um, I think it's with the coachy Tuskers that used to be in, the team that played at Orange. I think Brendan McCullum played for them in their only season that they played. They won some kind of appeal um, against the BCCI. Um, and potentially, instead of getting, uh, well, not refunded, but I guess um, compensated, shall we say, in, uh, in money terms, they're looking for re-entry into the league. So, I mean, if they came back into the league and it gives you seven teams, you know, and you play against each team, you know, maybe three times, that's going to be 18 games that a team plays, which I guess isn't too far off what they used to have. I think it used, did it used to be that you played, I can't even remember, I can't remember the format of the IPL, I haven't really f followed it in too much depth in the last couple of seasons. Um, but from memory, I think you played each team home and away. So you're playing 14 games, so it's another four games that they've gone and added to the calendar, or maybe they just do a shortened um a shortened season, which I can't really see them doing, um, but you know, potentially they could, potentially they could just have obviously those six teams play each team twice, um, I think I had the wrong field to a tupper. We started off with a hiss and a roll with our wickets, and since then it's just gone downhill, we picked up, what was it, we picked up two in the first over, haven't got anything since then, and we just... I was going to say, another one would be nice. And just as I say that, we go and pick up one just like that. So that is a good sign. Three for nine. Very good figures from Cliffy. Returning his good figures. And uh, as I said, we really have gone and pulled the Knight Riders back from the start that they had. Remember, they were one for 60 off six overs. They are now six for 112 off 16. Only four overs left. And we're looking to go and try and contain them here to about 140, which I think should be a relatively easy chase for our top order, fingers crossed. But we will just have to wait and see, obviously, what happens. Are we going to get a bat today? Probably not. It looks like we've gone and chased it down in very quick time. Unless I am coming in to have a bat, which I do highly doubt, but we will just wait and see. No, there we go. So the boys high-fiving it out. Marlon Samuels and... Ooh, Tupper. Utapa played for both teams. And he didn't get dismissed. He scored 100 and something not out. But yeah, we get there in the end very comfortably with 4.2 overs left. Robin Utapa, man of the match for his uh, 72, not out of 46. Samuels played a good role as well. Um, but yeah, really that man Utapa who went and carried us through to that total. So we'll quickly go, now that we do have a wee bit of time, wee bit of extra time, we'll go and have a look um, at the table. Obviously we've got the buy in this next round, round 16, and we've got round 17 and round 18 left to go. So if Sid's calculations are correct, which I'm assuming they are going to be, with that win we have gone and guaranteed first place for ourselves, but we will just confirm that in a quick wee second. I think that puts us six points clear, as I said, with three games for most of the teams left to play. So we'll just skip through that. As you can see, round 16 been and gone. We've got Rajasthan in the next round, and um, as you can see, Rajas yeah, so actually because of the results, Rajasthan have actually played 15, so they've got to buy the next round, which means that they can't go and catch up either, so we are six points ahead, just two games left to play, which means first place is going to be guaranteed to the Pune Warriors, which is good to see. Chennai are really struggling, um, only the one win this season out of 15 games. They probably beat us as well. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up here. Do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you are new, please do subscribe. Make sure you check out my Facebook and Twitter. Links to that can be found down below in the description. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Back to Virtual Tennis, Virtual Tennis 2009 World Tour, where hopefully we are going to go keep increasing that ranking, playing those high challenger events, and possibly even look at going and playing in some Grand Slams in the foreseeable future. Hope you guys have had a good start to your week, and we'll see you tomorrow.